The Golden State Killers were three similar crime sprees across the 70s and 80s that all involved similar methods of carefully surveying a person's house before breaking in. However, they all committed different crimes and in different areas of California. The Visalia Ransacker committed around 120 robberies between 1973 and 1976, once robbing 12 houses in a single day. He would usually steal low-value items like jewellery and sometimes weapons. He would often play his robberies very safe, scouting the area, learning his victim's daily routines, he always wore gloves, placed things such as bottles on door handles to use as warning items, and always had multiple escape routes planned. On February 5th, 1975, 10pm, Claude Sneeling noticed a man outside his daughter's bedroom, looking in, but he ran off before he could get a better look. Eight months and six days later, Sneeling went into his garden to find a man dragging his 16-year-old daughter away, attempting to kidnap her. Sneeling was shot twice by the masked man, who proceeded to escape on his bike. The daughter would undergo hypnosis to try and gather information on the killer, but nothing useful was gained. He also shot a Detective McGowan's head, who was on a stakeout for the ransacker. He did this by faking a surrender, then pulling out a revolver. The break-ins then stopped abruptly during 1976. The East Area Rapist committed 50 rapes throughout the Sacramento area. It was very common for his victims to see or hear a trespasser on their property before they were raped. He conducted very similar research and precautions as the Visali Ransacker. However, he would also call his victims beforehand, even calling one to wish them a Merry Christmas. He also wrote a poem to the police that seemed to want the same attention that other killers got, such as Son of San. When he broke in, he would wake his victims at gunpoint. He would then get the woman to tie up the man for being tied up herself, and then place dishes on his back, threatening if he heard them break, he would kill everyone in the house. The victims would usually be blindfolded and gagged, and the woman moved away to be raped repeatedly. He would make himself at home by helping himself to their food, alcohol, and even steal their jewellery. He would often pretend to leave the house, then jump out of the shadows to scare his victims. One night, when he was prowling the streets, he ran into a young couple called the Maguires. After a short chase, he gunned them both down. These crimes stopped in 1979. The worst of the three crime sprees left a trail of bodies behind. The killer was known as the Night Stalker, a different killer than Richard Ramirez, who was known by the same name. It started in 1979, when he botched an attempt at murdering a couple. The couple overheard him say, I'll kill him, and sounded their alarm. Their neighbour, who worked at the FBI, managed to pursue a fleeing Night Stalker, but he was able to get away. He then went on to kill nine more people, Robert Offerman, Deborah Manning, Charlene and Lyman Smith, Keith and Patrice Harrington, Manuela Whitton, Sherry Domingo, and Gregory Sanchez before stopping abruptly in 1981. Some people believe this may have been because of a fight with a six foot three tall Gregory Sanchez. However, he did kill one more in 1986, bludgeoning an 18 year old Janelle Cruz to death with a pipe wrench before disappearing, never to kill again. Police searched the identities of the three for years, offering ever increasing rewards, but nothing turned up. Then, in 2001, 14 years after the final murder, DNA from several of the East Area Rapist victims were matched with the DNA on several of the murdered Night Stalker victims. They had been committed by the same person. In 2016, the FBI began searching for who they were now calling the Golden State Killer and offered a $50,000 reward. Eventually, using genetic genealogy, they narrowed it down to 1,000 people on 25 different family trees dating back to the 1800s. They then looked at each one of them individually, eliminating suspects one by one. They were left with one man. Joseph James D'Angelo was arrested in April 2018 and confessed to 13 counts of murder attributed to the Night Stalker, as well as being the East Area Rapist and the Sally Ransacker, and was given 12 life sentences and 8 years in 2020.